Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be discussing Freddy today. Uh, specifically, uh, I figure we talk about Freddy right now, uh, since they just, uh, said in their, uh, Halloween event live stream that Freddy is not going to be getting his rework till 2025, which that is very disappointing as I feel he is definitely the killer that needs the most amount of changes. So I figure, why not discuss like what I would do, how my ideal Freddy rework would be. So uh, let's get into it. I think first we should go over like specifically what is wrong with Freddy and why he's so bad. Uh, before we actually uh, explain what I would change about him, we, sh we first must address his core problems. First problem with him is that his power does not feel like Freddy. He doesn't feel like how he should play. He's just uh, uh, uninspired and he just does not feel very faithful to his character in terms of the thematics of his power. Like you place blood pools on the floor. The most Freddy thing you can do in his base kit is teleport to generators. And then with add-ons you have uh, dream palettes which is the closest thing you're going to get to like a Freddy-esque power. He's just not very faithful. And the second problem. He is garbage. He sucks. And the reason why he sucks comes down to three aspects. One, how the dream world functions. Right now, it is way too easy to wake up and stay awake to the point where it's just trivial as when you are in the dream world you have three you have three four ways of what making up technically speaking first way getting an awake survivor to wake you up now can if you do the this method consecutively it's supposed it gets slower uh and, and it takes longer to wake up but honestly this is not the most common way uh, people wake up. So it doesn't really matter as much. Second way of waking up is via the alarm clocks that will spawn on the opposite side of the map. And when you use an alarm clock, you become immune to the dream world for a full fucking minute. I think it's a full minute anyway. It was either a full minute or 30 seconds. Either way, it's a long ass time. And thir the third way of waking up is by failing a skill check, which is the most common way you will see uh, survivors waking up against Freddy, I would say, because it's by far the easiest. All you have to do, fail a skill check, boom, you wake up. Is dumb. And the fourth way is whenever you get hooked. Obviously, you don't want to do, be doing that uh, too many times. So, yeah. And here's the... And then the, now we go down to the snares and at the same time, dream pallets. Now with snares, they are the same hindered penalty as a, a clown bottle with the 10% hindered. The problem is, is why it's worse than a clown bottle is because it's not, it doesn't last as long. It doesn't have the same duration. And it's also covers a smaller area, meaning it's easier to avoid and it only works whenever the survivor's asleep. If they're awake, it does jack shit and because of how i mentioned how easy it is to wake up and stay awake it is completely pointless 
And then we move on to the dream snares, which you get with add-ons that replace the dream pallets. And the problem with dream pallets is that you're sacrificing what little anti-loop you have for a bit of deception in place. Swifts will absolutely kick your shit in as they'll be able to easily be able to communicate with one another of which pallets are real and which ones are fake. So you're basically taking away your only form of dealing with loops for a chance to be able to deceive them. Plus, if they know that you have dream pellets, they know that you don't have snares and vice versa. If they know you have snares, they know that you don't have dream pellets, making it very uh, predictable. So yeah, we got the first problem is it's way too easy to wake up. And two, the dream and powers are way too easy to deal with to the point where it doesn't matter if you're asleep or not. They're too weak for you to um, to really matter. And now we go to the third problem. His teleport. Oh my god, this teleport fucking sucks. People will put Freddy higher because he has to teleport. Well, here's the thing. Just because you have a teleport doesn't mean your character is good. I've been saying this. The reason why Freddy has the worst teleport in the game is because one, it's easily telegraphed. Two, it has a 40, a long ass 45 second cooldown, which is supposed to speed up the more people are asleep. But because people are going to be staying awake all the time, you don't see that come into effect. Thirdly, you you can only teleport to one gen at a time, and it's easily telegraphed. As you start seeing blood spew out the generator, you might think like, oh, you can like use that to cancel that and like fake people out. You're like, yeah, that is a strategy, but the problem is, is that if they just hover around the area and just wait for you to do something, then they basically don't end up wasting any time at all. It's like three seconds. Like, congratulations, you bought yourself like three seconds worth of time. So it's not really worth using all, thing all the time. Or really ever. Like, it's gimmicky. And then the third thing of why Freddy's... And the main thing of why Freddy's teleport sucks. It gets weaker as the game goes on as you're only able to teleport to unfinished generators. So by the time you reach end game, you do you end up completely losing out on half of your power. And there's also the fact the teleport is slow as fuck to channel. It's so slow. It gives survivors so much fucking time to react. Way more than necessary. So, with that being said... Oh yeah, there's also the fourth problem with Freddy and why he's weak. His add-ons are absolute garbage. Like, look at this shit, alright? We got... Increases healing and repair skill check penalties by 4%. Why would I want to use that? I'm actively getting punished for survivors failing skill checks because they wake up from the dream world. So this is pointless. Blindness gets inflicted with dream snares or dream pallets. Pointless. Blindness is a bad add one. This is a meme add on. Why would you want to make your snares fucking worse? Garden Rake? You replace your dream snares with dream pallets? This is... You never ever are going to use Garden Rake. You, if you're going to use the dream pallet add-on, you might as well use... What's coming up next? Prototype Claws. This is... This is basically just this, but you get aura reading. You might as well... Like, you might as well just use Prototype Claws. 
or paint thinner because they both are infinitely better than the garden rake we've got outdoor rope sounds of generator repairs can be heard from eight meters away completely pointless why would you want ever want to make survivors louder when you have strider you have perks that do that already so having that as an add-on is pointless Nancy sketch increases protection cooldown by 2% for each survivor in the dream world. Well, terrible add-on because people are not going to be staying in the dream world for very long. Green dress, like I said, failing skill checks are pointless. Although the effect of the survivor's aura gain revealed is a nice touch. The fact that you're punished uh, for a survivor's mission skill checks due to them waking up makes this pointless. Cat block actually a good add-on as it's the teleport can be rather disorienting unicorn block triggering blindness again with blindness we already have an add-on that inflicts fucking blindness this is just the same thing but longer nancy sketch same thing as this but one percent more great terrific fantastic great add-on jump rope Grunts of pain are 50% louder. Why? Who? Who asked for this add-on? Like, please. Footsteps louder. Pill bottle. Actually a decent fucking add-on. Reduces the survivor. There's, uh, makes it, uh, so you can't be seen from, uh, further away. Class photo. It would be a good add-on if it wasn't for the key aspect of channeling gene projection can no longer be cancelled. If it wasn't for that, this would be a great add-on. Z-block. Also a great add-on. It's just a cat block but better, but still, fantastic add-on. Paintbrush. Easily his best add-on as it removes the... It makes everyone start asleep. And it also makes it so failed skill checks don't wake up survivors. Easily his best add-on and is pretty much a must-have on every single one of your games. And finally we got Black Box. While in Dream World recently opened, exit gates are blocked for 15 seconds. So it's a mini Blood Warden. It's gimmicky. Could work, could not work. It's overall not worth running. Yeah. Most of his add-ons either revolve around... Decreasing cooldowns, inflicting one status effect, fucking one, and it's garbage. Giving killer instinct on teleport. Yeah, most of the add-ons are just make sounds louder, decrease cooldown, or or fucking uh, inflict blindness. That's it. Only a handful of his add-ons are actually worth a damn. Actually, no. Only three of them. Pill Bottle, Z-Block, and Paintbrush. That's it. Those are the only three that are even remotely worth running. Everything else is garbage. Yeah, he need... Alright. Now, with that mini rant out of the way, now let's get into how can we actually fix this character i'm going to start by uh each individual aspect and what i would change about them first of all with the dream world i'm not going to be changing the dream world very much and how it works mechanically first change and the big this is the big one I am completely removing the ability to wake yourself up through failed skill checks. It's absolutely stupid that you fuck up and get rewarded for it. That's why corrective action and uh, hyper focus combo had to uh, get uh, shut down before live. It's stupid. It should not be a thing. So first order of business. 
get rid of waking up via failed skill checks. And then the second thing I would do is I would probably cut down on the time. I'll probably cut down on the time uh, that the clocks give of immunity. Just like, I don't know, like maybe uh, by 10 or 20 seconds. I feel like that's reasonable. Third change. Well, no, not third change. I think that's all I'm going to change about the how the dream world works mechanically. That's it. That's all I'm going to change. Now, first of all, for the main ability, first change I'm doing, I'm making it so you... I would make it so you can have both snares and pallets at the same time. There is absolutely no reason why you should not have both. It makes it so the people who like the snares, they're happy. People who like snares, they're happy. They get to play with snares. And the people who like pa dream pallets are also happy because they get theirs. I'll add more complexity to the character, I think. The way I'd have that I'd have it work is I would have it so they have separate, uh, they share separate pools. So like seven pallets and like seven snares. I think that's reasonable. Like adds a lot more depth and gives Freddy more, uh, more of a chance to actually, uh, outplay survivors. And it makes them overall more threatening. And then, I would buff up the duration of the dream uh, snares. I'll, whenever you put, at least, uh, uh, when you have a snare on the floor, I'm gonna like buff up, I would buff up the duration of the hinder by like a couple of seconds as well. So that way it's actually worth using more often. Now, either buff up the- I would either buff up the duration, or increase the amount of hinder you get. So like, make it- maybe make it like separate more from, a uh, clown or something. I don't know. I will probably lean more towards increasing the duration of the hinders. And I think that's it. That's all I'm gonna do to the main palette hour. Just really simple, make it so you can have both pallets and snares at the same time. And, uh, yeah. Now, for the teleport, here's what I'm gonna, uh, here's what I would do with the teleport. I would cut down on the cooldown, make it like 30 seconds. Yeah, I would make it like 30 seconds. And then I would also... Uh, what I would also do is give, give Freddy a Z-Block base kit to like help with uh, the disorientation because it can be disorienting. And then the final change I would make is make it so Freddy can teleport to completed generators. I don't get why this is not a thing. Freddy should be allowed to uh, teleport to completed and or blocked gens. I don't get why it's not a thing, but it really should be. And yeah, that's all I would do you know, to Freddy. The goal of this rework is to make Freddy better, make him more fun to play as, while at the same time keeping my changes grounded and realistic as well. Like make it something something that behavior can reasonably do without, you know, completely changing how Freddy works entirely. Because they did say that they don't want to do those type of reworks anymore because of Freddy. Yeah, basically doing the bare minimal amount of changes and keeping it realistic to something that the devs could very well easily do. I feel like 
these changes would absolutely fix Freddy and like probably like bump him up to like I don't know B tier or something but yeah oh uh, that's gonna be it for me uh, let me know what you think of my rework idea and uh yeah thank you all so much for watching and uh I'll see you all later take care everyone